1963, a classic hit the screens that left audiences laughing, shocked, and maybe even a little teary-eyed. It's none other than The Nutty Professor. This film, directed by Jerry Lewis, is a comedic gem that tells the tale of a socially awkward professor who concocts a potion turning him into a suave but obnoxious alter ego. Now, here's the kicker. There's a trove of funny, shocking, and even sad facts about this film that you wouldn't want to miss. So, keep your eyes peeled. Ever wondered if the nutty professor played a role in shaping someone's life? Do you have a cherished memory associated with this hilarious flick? We're about to spill the beans on some intriguing details. But first, let us know what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie. We're all ears and would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. The Nutty Professor isn't just any film, it's a cinematic journey with unexpected twists and turns that have left a mark on many. So, join us as we delve into the amusing, surprising, and sometimes heartwarming aspects of this timeless classic. In 1963, Jerry Lewis directed, wrote, and starred in a film that has left a lasting mark in the world of cinema. The Nutty Professor stands as a significant piece of work, arriving at a pivotal moment just before a cultural shift marked by Beatlemania and changing attitudes toward art and entertainment. The movie emerged during the twilight of the Rat Pack era and the familiar rhythms of rock and roll just before the Plasticville 50s yielded to a more mature and challenging freedom in artistic expression. The film tells a classic dual personality story accentuated by vibrant technicolor and featuring a stunning leading lady. Lewis, known for his silent slapstick, incorporates sight gags and smarmy sentimentality into the narrative, a departure from his usual style, but one that works surprisingly well. It is often hailed as his masterpiece, a sentiment echoed even by those critical of his body of work. The hybrid character, Buddy Love, a combination of Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, and Jerry Lewis, could only exist in the context of its time. He managed to capture the essence of an era just before it transformed, making it a snapshot of a fleeting moment in pop culture. The sight gags, a hallmark of his films, are particularly fantastic here, creating a balance between drama and silliness. The transformation scene, in particular, carries an element of terror. While the film contains a fair share of his trademark shtick, it undeniably stands out as an entertaining oddity with a vibrant on-screen presence that is difficult to ignore. Considered the peak of his success, both critically and at the box office, it remains his most remembered and popular work. Regardless of debates surrounding the depth and greatness of his talent, this movie showcases a unique combination of elements that has softened even the harshest critics, forcing them to acknowledge the undeniable talent at play. Jerry Lewis, despite continuing to make movies, would never again reach the heights of success achieved with it. It stands as a testament to his ability to capture a moment in time and deliver a film that is simultaneously entertaining and thought-provoking. In the annals of cinema history, this has secured a lasting place. Ranked among the American Film Institute's Top 100 Funniest American Movies, The Nutty Professor, a 1963 classic, boasts comedic excellence. The film's DVD unveils an intriguing deleted scene featuring Kelp's love interest, a sultry siren, making a jaw-dropping entrance to the purple pit with jazz accompaniment, a stark contrast to the final portrayal. Notably, an uncredited Cliff Robertson discreetly lights a cigarette outside the purple pit as Buddy Love makes his memorable first club entrance, adding a subtle yet significant touch to the scene. These nuanced details contribute to the film's timeless humor and cinematic appeal. Crafting an understated narrative, the nutty professor captures subtle moments such as Robertson's fleeting appearance which enhance the viewer's experience. The film's recognition by the American Film Institute attests to its enduring comedic impact. Dive into the world of the nutty professor and discover the layers woven into its narrative. Buddy Lester, the bartender at the Purple Pit, was a member of the Rat Pack, featuring in films alongside Sinatra and Lewis. In 2004, the Library of Congress recognized the Nutty Professor's cultural significance, preserving it in the National Film Registry. The character Professor Frink from The Simpsons drew inspiration from Lewis' portrayal of Julius Kelp, incorporating mannerisms and the transition to a Buddy Love-like version. Lewis even lent his voice to Frink's father in an episode. These connections shed light on the lasting impact of the Nutty Professor on both film history and popular culture. 
Dive into the film's world to explore these intriguing influences. Filmed over two months at Arizona State University, The Nutty Professor, a 1963 classic, provides a glimpse into the meticulous production process. From October 9 to December 17, 1962, the campus served as the backdrop for the entire movie, emphasizing the efficiency of the shooting schedule. Notably, the Alaskan polar bear drink, initially a fictional creation in the film, has found its way into real-life cocktail culture. Today, it graces the menus of some cocktail websites, a testament to the enduring influence of the movie's imaginative elements. In several scenes, Jerry's white socks take center stage. Lewis' commitment to never wearing the same pair of socks twice, a personal pledge rooted in his childhood experiences, becomes evident. By the time his fame solidified around 1950, he would have worn and discarded over 25,000 pairs, showcasing a unique and personal aspect of his life. These behind-the-scenes details, from the filming location to the real-world impact of fictional elements, add layers to the nutty professor's narrative. It's a journey that goes beyond the on-screen humor, offering a glimpse into the production choices and personal quirks that contribute to the film's lasting legacy. Jerry Lewis' 1963 film, The Nutty Professor, is a testament to his comedic ingenuity and meticulous scripting. Lewis, in collaboration with Bill Richmond, penned a total of nine scripts for the movie, showcasing his dedication to shaping the narrative. The film features an homage to Ernie Kovac's innovative sight and sound gags, evident in the squeaking shoes routine and the comedic mishap with swinging classroom doors. These moments pay direct homage to Kovacs, who had recently concluded his TV show, leaving a notable impact on visual humor. In Les Brown's band, the conga player is none other than the renowned studio drummer Hal Blaine. Blaine's rhythmic prowess extends to his contribution to over 150 top 10 hits in the 1960s, with 40 of them reaching the coveted number one spot. Lewis' attention to detail during the production at Arizona State University is reflected in subtle yet memorable scenes. The Alaskan polar bear drink, initially a fictional creation, has transcended the film, becoming part of real-life cocktail culture and unintended legacy of the movie's imaginative elements. Noteworthy is Lewis' commitment to never wear the same pair of socks twice, a personal pledge rooted in his childhood experiences. By 1950, he would have worn and discarded over 25,000 pairs, offering a glimpse into the personal quirks that contributed to the film's lasting legacy. In 2004, the Library of Congress acknowledged the cultural significance of The Nutty Professor, securing its place in the National Film Registry. The film's impact extends beyond the screen, influencing popular culture, and even inspiring characters like Professor Frink in The Simpsons, showcasing its enduring relevance. From the swinging doors to the conga beats, Jerry Lewis, The Nutty Professor, weaves a narrative enriched with subtle nods and meticulous details, contributing to its timeless humor and cinematic appeal. Dive into the layers of this iconic film and discover the unique elements that shape its legacy. The casting choices in The Nutty Professor defy conventional age considerations. Jerry Lewis, at 37, played opposite 24-year-old Stella Stevens as his love interest. Meanwhile, Kelp's parents, aged 44 and 59, and two football students, aged 37 and 39, showcased a deliberate departure from age-appropriate casting. Notably, Richard Keel, later known as the Bond villain Jaws, appears in an early career role when the professor enters the gym. This adds an unexpected layer to the film's casting, featuring a future iconic villain in a seemingly ordinary setting. Jerry Lewis, in a DVD commentary, disclosed an interesting facet of fan reception. Contrary to expectations, he received more fan mail addressed to Buddy Love than to Professor Kelp. This led him to reconsider Love's character, contemplating whether to make him more malicious rather than just obnoxious. It highlights the audience's intriguing preference for the antagonist over the protagonist, offering a unique perspective on character reception. These casting choices and behind-the-scenes revelations contribute to the multifaceted nature of The Nutty Professor, showcasing the film's ability to surprise and challenge expectations. Dive into the nuances of its characters and cast and discover the unexpected elements that shape the film's narrative.